Everybody, welcome to week six of getting ready for fourth grade math like a boss. I'm Miss McCarthy. I am your teacher. I'm your host today, and we are on day 26 of a 40 day course. It's an eight week course um, that hopefully you're working on over the summer. Maybe it's the beginning of the school year. I don't know. Um, but this is the vision that we're going to be talking about today. So, to, by the end of this week, you should be a boss at division. So without further ado, let's get to our boss notes and let me teach ya. Boss notes. All right, everybody, let's get our boss notes for division. Let's get our division on. And by the way, whatever I write up here on the board, you can actually find it in the complete guide. Go ahead and download the workbook. You can find that by accessing the link. And um, I've got what's on the video plus Four additional days work of practice that you don't see in the videos to help you be a pro at fourth grade math. So let's do this. All right, so we have five steps. We kind of repeat the same four steps over and over again for long division. So our first step is to divide. Then we're going to multiply. Then we're going to subtract. And finally, we bring down the next digit. And we are going to repeat that until all numbers in the dividend have been used. Okay? So, real quick to help you, I've got a little wrap. It goes. I'm Miss McCarthy, and I'm all on the scene with a division wrap that's fresh and clean. Divide, multiply, subtract, and bring it down. Divide, multiply, subtract, and bring it down. All right, so let's get to it. Let's learn it now, people. Come on. Number one, let's go. Okay, so number one, we've got 342 divided by 4. So this first number is our dividend. The second number is our divisor, and we are finding the answer, which is our quotient. Okay, our quotient. So, for long division, we set it up a little bit differently. We take our divisor, we put it outside, and we draw like a little bit of like a half, half of a box, and we put our dividend inside and our quotient goes on top. So how many times, our first step is to get divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. We're gonna keep repeating that over and over until we finished all the digits in our dividend. So four goes into three. How many fours go into three? Well, if you count by fours, you get four. So one four would be four, which is more than three, so no fours go into three. How many fours go into 34? So basically, how many fours does it take to get to 34? 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36. So 36 would be too many. We need 32, which would be times 8. So 34 divided by 4 is about 8, 8 are multiplying 8 times 4 is 32. So we divided, that's how we got our 8. We multiplied 8 times 4 to get 32. And if you remember from your boss notes, your S stands for subtract. So we're going to subtract 34 minus 32, which would be 2. And B stands for bring down. So we take the next digit, which is our 2, and bring it down. Boom. And we repeat the process, but this time we're looking at the 22 instead of the 342. So 4 goes into 22, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 
24, so 24 will be too much, so 5 times. 5 times 4 is 20. Just divide it and multiply it. Now we'll subtract, which is 2, and there is nothing left to bring down. Also, this guy right here is called our remainder. We know we have reached the remainder, that's what's left over, when our remainder is less than our 4, or our uh, divisor over here. So the answer would be 85, bring this guy up, remainder 2. Okay, and then you got to check it because in division it's easy to make mistakes, so you got to check your work. So what we're going to do is take 85 times 4, and then we'll add our remainder of 2. 85 times 4, okay, so 5 times 4 is 20, 4 times 8 is 32, 32, 33, 34, so 340, and we add our remainder of 2, so plus 2 gives you 342, which was our quotient. So 85 remainder 2 is indeed the answer. Whew! Let's try number 2. All right, people. So now we've got 7,631 divided by 4. This is our dividend. This is our, oops, not our quotient, our divisor. And whatever the answer is, is going to be our quotient. Set it up properly. So first, we've got 4 going into 7,631. In other words, 7,631 divided by 4. And let me put my little steps over here. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. All right. How many times does 4 go into 7? Let's count by 4s until we get up to 7. 4, 8. 8 is too many. So it goes into it one time. That was your division step. Now we're multiplying. One times four is four. I put that right below the seven because that's the only number I was dividing into. Now I subtract. Seven minus four is three. And for B, I bring down just the next digit, which is six. Okay, now we repeat. 4 goes into 36 how many times? 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36. Nine times exactly. Now multiplying 9 times 4, not 19 times 4, but 9 times 4 is 36. I subtract those and I get 0 and I bring down the next digit. Three. How many times does four go into three? Four. Well, when it goes into it one time, it's already greater than three. So it goes into three zero times. So I bring down my next digit. How many times does four go into 31? 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. 32 is too many, so seven times, and 7 times 4 would be 28. When I subtract those, I get 3. I have nothing left to bring down, and my remainder is less than my divisor, so we're in good shape. I just have to remember to bring my remainder up here. Okay. Now, I know I'm going a little bit fast through this, but again, the beauty of YouTube is that you can pause it and rewind it and rewatch anything that you weren't sure of. Maybe you need to hear it again. Maybe you hear it three or four times. I don't know. But take a look at this. Go back and get it. Watch it until you get it. All right. So I think this is my answer, but I need to check. So I'm going to take 1,907 times 4, because I was dividing, and the inverse would be multiplication. So multiply these two, and then add my so 1,907 times 4. 
7 times 4 is 28. 4 times 0 is 0, plus 2 is 2. 4 times 9 is 36. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 3 is 7. 7,200, 6, I can't even talk. Try again. 7,628, which is close to what's in here, but it's not perfect because I forgot to add my 3. Add my 3. Okay. 8 plus 3 is 1. 3. 4 plus 3 is 6. Seven. Now this matches what's inside here, but this is actually my answer, 1,907 remainder three. Now let's say that this did not match up. That means you did something wrong over here, or you did something wrong when you were multiplying it to check your work. So go back and take another look-see until you get it right, okay? Now I know that we covered a lot today, but I want you to go ahead and try number three and number four on your own. Um, if you can't do it and you get stuck, Come right back and pause it and do it right along with me. Just press play and pause as we go. So give it a shot, people. See you in a second. All right, so let's try number three together, okay? Maybe you've already done it. Maybe you were having a hard time with it, but I'll walk you through it, okay? So we've got 287 divided by 9. So out here I'm going to put, I'm going to draw my little box. What goes out here? The 9, the 9, which is our divisor. And what goes inside? The dividend, which is 287. Excellent. All right, now I'm going to put my little code down here. D, divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Some people remember this as dad, mom, sister, brother. Some people do dangerous monkeys, swipe bananas. I just do divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, but you can do whatever you'd like. So, we say first step is to divide. How many times does 9 go into 2? Let's count by 9s. 9. 1 9 is 9, which is greater than 2. So, does 9 go into 2? No. We're going to put an X up top. How many times does 9 go into 28? Let's count by 9s. 9, 18, 27, 27, which is close. One more would be 36, so which is too much. So let's do 27, which would be 3 times. I'll multiply. 3 times 9 is 27. And where does that go? right below the 28. Now what do we do with the 28 and the 27? It's our S. Great, we subtract them. So that would be 1. And B, B stands for bring down. We bring down the 7. And we repeat that process because right now our remainder is greater than our divisor. We need to repeat the process. 9 goes into 17, count by 9s, 9, 18, which is too much, so 1 time would be 9, 1 times 9 is 9, and now what do we do? We subtract, 17 minus 9 is 8, 8 is our remainder, and is our remainder less than our divisor? Yes. Okay. Now we need to check our work. I know that we divided so that when we check our work, we need to do the opposite, which is multiply, the inverse, which is multiply. Okay? So I'm going to multiply 31 times 9, and then what do I do with the 8? Add it. Very good. So 31 times 9. 1 times 9 is 9, 3 times 9 is 27, okay, and there's a loss lying around me, so I want to make sure that I don't get stung. All right, which is close to 287, but what else do I need to do here? Good, add my 8. When I do that, I get 287. 
27, which was what my dividend was to begin with. So 31 remainder 8 is the correct answer. Let's try number 4. Last one, 2,271 divided by 6. All right. So let me put up my division sign. What goes outside the box? My 6. Inside the box, my dividend, which is 2,271. All right. And I'm going to put my little code down here, which would be divide, multiply, subtract, bring down Dad, mom, sister, brother, or dangerous monkey swipe bananas. However you want to remember it, that's what it is. Divide, multiply, subtract, and bring down. All right. How many times does six go into two? It can't. How many times does six go into 22? Six, 12, 18, 24 would be too many. So 18 would be three. So three times. Three times six. Six is 18. Now what do I do? Subtract. When I subtract, I get four. Now what? Bring down my seven. Okay, and repeat the process. Six goes into 47. How many times? Six. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42. Ooh, I messed up. 42 and 48 would be too many, so 7 times. 7 times 6 is 42. That was my multiplication step. Now I subtract. I get 5. B stands for bring down. Bring down my 1. 6 goes into 51. Well, I know that 6 times 8 is 48. I know that 6 times 9 is 54, so that's too much. So it's got to be 8 times. 8 times 6 is 48. I'm getting kind of small, and that's okay. 3. Nothing left to bring down. So that would be a remainder of 3. Now let me check my work. So what do I multiply? 378. Times 6, that would be 48. 6 times 7 is 42, plus 4 is 46. 6 times 8, 3 is 18, plus 4 is 22. And what do I need to add to get to my 2,271? I'm going to add my remainder of 3. I did that wrong, but it works. 2,271. So this is my correct answer. All right, guys. So go ahead and give it a try with the rest of the week. You might need to rewatch this a couple times. Um, ask your parents for help. They might be able to help you, especially if they're watching the video too. And um, let's get to our B message. Don't Today's B message is to be committed like a boss. This means to be 100% dedicated to something that you believe in. So maybe you're committed to dedicating 10 to 20 minutes a day over your summer break to practice your math skills. Maybe you're committed to eating better and exercising. Maybe you're committed to being the best friend or the best son or daughter that you can possibly be. So commit to something, everybody, and whatever you choose to commit to, give it everything you've got. Get stronger like a